Hi everyone. Uh, today, if you glare to news channel, you'll find only one thing. That is U.S. president visit to India. So I have chosen a topic where we are going to talk about the U.S. president visit to India as well as can India become five trillion dollar economy with the U.S. help? Many of you may be thinking, how are the two interconnected? Trust me. It is only the business, the economy, the defense, which is important for all these visits. I'm sure you can understand if they are coming to India, they are going to Taj Mahal, they are, they are going to you know, address people there in Ahmedabad. But of course, Donald Trump is not going to you know, fight or contest election in India. So you need to understand why he's here and uh, why Narendra Modi government is giving so much importance to his visit. Let's move to the next part of this the first is i have broken up into three agenda first is the us elections are around the corner after his acquittal from uh, senate he is uh, you know very strong he is uh, really working hard to win the election and you can also see it from his body posture that his chances of winning the election is really very high mr sanders may be giving him good competition but if you see the rural US and the you know urban US, you'll find that the rural US is more inclined towards uh, Donald Trump. One of the things that he has done in between this period is he is able to reduce the unemployment rate, which has dropped down drastically. So if you see, whole America has impacted the world's economy, but it is America which has grown, grown in between this period. So we need to understand that it is U.S. election which is very important and certainly it is a time when the Donald Trump is going to get the benefit from India. So rather than thinking that how much India can get benefit from Donald Trump, I would say how much Donald Trump is going to get benefited from India is more important here. Of course, it is a two-way process. We are also going to be benefited from this the, the, the mini business deals that we are going to have. So let's talk about the first is one thing which has happened in between this period is GSP, which is generalized system of preferences. We were the part of it. We were considered as an underdeveloped country or developing countries for which we are always given a concession debate, rebate over the items that we are selling there. So for example, my grains, my wheat, rice is costing X rupees, but the government is giving a subsidy because of which a farmer for a farmer, the cost is 0.5x. Now, when the farmer is going to sell it in a US market, the there will be no tariffs on it. Reason is because they consider for the developing country, the US should give some benefit. That is the reason why India was really benefited from it. But now what happens is, if we are giving subsidy over some item, now when this item goes to US, the US is going to apply taxes over it. So you need to understand that uh, the US government the US government is going to levy taxes over the items whose prices are lower than the prices of the items in their own country so that is certainly going to hit the businesses from india the second important thing is and that all has happened because of the us trade representative department. So it is a US trade representative department, which has given this, you know, instructions that it would be better that if we don't consider India to be a developing country and treat it as a developed country. One of the reason that they have said is India is a part of G20. So being a part of G20, you cannot give the same type of importance to India. So there's a countervailing duty that they are going to imply on the items which are which are imported in us so you need to understand that is also one of the important thing whether you know many even the opposition raised a lot of question there in parliament that how come it happened that india has been thrown out from the gsp system the second important thing is new trade agreement deals so free trade agreement that we are going to have the new one is going to come there, which is, it is considered because many of the economists feel that it, it is also going to hurt the sentiment of the Indian businesses. The third important thing is, or the fourth one is the mini trade agreement that we are expecting. 
but when there is no business delegation coming with donald trump i don't think that is also possible so though there may be some type of trade agreement or a mini trade agreement may be possible but because there is no business delegation which is coming with the us president so you cannot expect much from it <coughs> the other thing is defense supplies this is one of the most important thing if you see in the defense supplies there are 24 lockheed martin built which are going to be sold to india there's mh60r seahawks which are again going to be sold to india 24 multi role helicopter for indian navy to be purchased at 2.4 billion dollar so you can understand 24 multi role helicopters are going to be help, going to help indian navy to reach to the farther part in the indian ocean and the arabian ocean and that will cost you 2.4 billion dollar and the india is also planning to purchase drone which is going to help its making it uh, more efficient in, in in taking care of its border so here also the us is going to benefit p81 long range multi mission maritime patrol aircraft which is also going to help india to cover all of its ocean see you, you can understand that for I, i was reading it in the newspaper for the last 5 7 years india navy is always saving saying that they are struggling getting the best arms and ammunition so that they can safeguard the borders of or the coastal border of india so i think it is going to give a lot of power to the indian navy and we will be able to monitor almost all arabic ocean or uh, indian ocean part so along with that there is also radan intelligence surveillance target acquisition and reconnaissance istr aircraft is also there on the d so you can understand in these all defense supplies we are going to benefit we are going to get the technology as well as the some of the best aircraft or drones from us <coughs> but certain, certainly it is going to give benefit more to the us than to india because in these the business deals it is the america which is going to benefit more than india now there is always a concern for the us that they are patented protected medicines are there i'm sure that all of you have heard about novartis case there in the in the high court and supreme court where the supreme court has given instruction that there, there is a particular medicine that need to be considered as a generic medicine so the us is always very unsuccess about its pharmaceutical companies because a lot of patented protected patented protected medicines have been formed and medical devices which us want strict action to be taken who are going to copy them though india only account to 3% of the us trade so you can you can understand we are having a population which is 14 to 15% of world's population but even with that population also we we do only the 3% of us trade so if us is doing 100 dollars of business india accounts only to 3 dollars so you can understand that even with the so many business deal with us we are nowhere close to it the other agreement is uh, for this i would also like to add few more points here if we look at us china bilateral trade which comes out to be somewhere around 660 billion dollar i'm talking about 2018 i have intentionally taken 2018 because 2019 there was a trade war going on between us and china so in 2018 the trade bilateral trade between us and china was 660 billion dollars so you can imagine while us india bilateral trade was only 85 billion dollar so you can understand that you know china where the population is 10 to 15% more than india but the type of trade that they are doing with us is far ahead than india moreover the trade deficit in case of india is 23.3 billion dollar so we do more to, we 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 export more to america than importing from america in this case it is a trade deficit of 23.3 billion dollar but if we see the china the china's 
you know the us trade deficit with china is 346 billion dollar <coughs> so these are also the reason why india wants to get closer to us so that more and more business deals should happen with us and in future we could also replace china in doing business with us the other uh, agenda to where i think that the government of india is going to talk to the us government is h4 visa so all people who are dependent upon the people who are working there in us who are going from india and working there in us anyone dependent on those people are getting h4 visas now h4 visa cannot work there in us because you are dependent on someone though the you know the court has given some relaxation for one year but uh, I, i don't think if donald trump comes again uh, there will be some relaxation in this as i said earlier as well the business the you know the unemployment rate has uh, gone down drastically because of these measures that donald trump has taken us india bilateral trade i have already discussed is, is 85 billion dollar only the trade deficit is 23.3 billion dollar but most of the businesses that we are doing with us we are uh, doing a re, a business of re exporter so what we are doing is the america is purchasing a raw material from us or we are purchasing a raw material from us we polish it and then again export it so what we are doing is we are selling our services we are selling some type of you know the added value services that we are giving to the raw material and some of the examples are gems jewelry and processed petroleum trade so what we do is we purchase petroleum raw petrol from them then we process it and send it back to them sell it back to them uh, the other thing that the government of india is also looking for is uh, to increase fdi and fii though there are many restriction that we have put over the us companies but uh, if you see in last 9 months only 8 billion dollar of the business has happened which is not really good for india so india want more fdi and more fii in india so that the economy of india can also grow now a very interesting thing because of which uh, there is also a lot of uh, you know news in the media that uh, india want to sign a deal with america where india america can establish six nuclear power plant there in india which is uh, going to generate uh, around 1200 and something megawatt by each nuclear reactor so because of our energy requirement is going to be higher you you can see the government is forcing that by 2030 all fuel based vehicles are to be replaced by e vehicles so our energy requirement is higher that is the reason why the government is also you know uh, signing so many contracts and deals with the us government so that they can help us to establish more nuclear reactors in india uh, i'm sure that all of you understand that uh, you know india even before 1974 nuclear test the peaceful nuclear test that we have done before that it was a westinghouse electric company and uh, you know a canadian company established in 1954 a nuclear reactor energy reactor in india and the name of that was cyrus so westinghouse electric company is supposed to invest in india and form these nuclear reactor and of course they are also talking about transferring the technology which is going to complete the energy requirement as well as the technology requirement in the in the nuclear power reactors then the other is uh, covid 19 the if you see the it is already mentioned by imf that it is going to impact the world's economy especially g20 will be affected also badly so you can understand that if china get isolated and just to add few points because this was there in the news though america denied it uh, but as it was there in the news you should be also knowing that on twitter on facebook and linkedin <coughs> the russian media is saying that this covid 19 is only you know is a attack over china and reason is because they want to lower the standard of china lower their economy for that reason only they are attacking it the us government is saying that it is all russian 
you know, false news that it is spreading. But COVID-19 will certainly going to impact the world's economy. The way we are seeing that the Iran, in Iran, people are dying. In Italy, it is a sixth death. If you are talking about South Korea, in Japan, almost every, almost every country is impacted because of it. So you need to understand that because of these impact, the world economy will be in crisis if we are not able to tackle it on time. So China is working, you know, at the, on war footing basis. But what is important here is, can it control within the time span? Because if it extends for some period, <coughs> it will badly impact its economy. And if its economy will be impacted, our economy will be also impacted. Now, the third one is increase in LNG export from US. What we are looking for is uh, that uh, the government expect that liquefied natural, natural gas import should be increased from US. For that, Petronet has already, if you remember, Howdy Modi uh, session there in US, the Petronet has already planned to invest $2.5 billion in Tellurian. And because of which uh, the Donald Trump also said that it is going to open many of the jobs in uh, Texas and nearby area. So because of these deal, again, I'm saying it is America, which will benefit more than India. Now then defense deal, we have already discussed that 24 Lockheed Martin built in and MS-60R, or if you are talking about, uh, uh, you are talking about star aircraft, all of them are going to be, you know, the deal is going to finalize very soon. So America will be getting a lot of dollars from us. And uh, more than that, it is Afghanistan, which is, which is there. I think this is my personal view that Afghanistan is also one of the, uh, you know, the, one of the topic there in agenda. Reason is since US has decided that it is going to withdraw its forces. And in last two, three days, we have seen that the people are, celebrating in Quetta and all other places because the truce has been announced between the, the Taliban and US forces and Afghanistan uh, forces. So after, after US pulled out from it, ISI, which is one of the finest intelligence agency, will have more saying there in Afghanistan than Indian agencies. Because of which, Technically, as well as in security purpose also, it is really dangerous for us because if <coughs> Pakistan presence will increase in Afghanistan, it is certainly going to little our dominance there in Afghanistan. So I think that is also there in agenda, maybe, maybe directly or indirectly, the prime minister will try to convince uh, Donald Trump so that the impact or influence of Pakistan can be in control. And as I said, to become a $5 trillion economy, India knows that there's only one country which can help it. And that is only possible when we are going to increase or engage businesses where our economy get interlinked. Then only it is possible that India will become $5 trillion economy. Though Prime Minister Narendra Modi has won by a huge majority, but Whenever you put an agenda and on the basis of that, you are saying that I'm going to bring the changes in the life of people. Without $5 trillion economy, Modi 3.0 will not be possible. So I think that is also there in agenda. Thank you so much. I hope this will be helpful for you. In case of any doubt, please feel free to ask. You can also write uh, on the comment section anything that you want us to you know, add more values or some more topic to be discussed. Thank you so much.